So I'm going to call the meeting to order, the New York State Cemetery Board, November Board meeting to order. I'm Mark Addison, representing uh, Secretary of State Robert Rodriguez. I'm Tom Miller, representing James McDonald for uh, the Department of Health. And Jill. Hi, I'm Jill Faber, representing Attorney General Letitia James. Okay, so we have a, a full complement of board members, and uh, the meeting, the first quarter of the squad, let me also say, since we have the problems before, it looks very good, but uh, 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 we are a uh, hybrid meeting, in-person and remote, so if you're a remote, uh, please mute your phone, uh, mute your device until you're speaking. We have lots of opportunities for people to speak. Uh, the first order of business is to uh, approve the minutes of previous meetings. Uh, is there any corrections or suggestions to the meetings as distributed? Uh, yes, I, I see one. Uh, it says that we approved the August minutes at the last minute yeah. at meeting. We actually approved the September minutes. Oh, okay. Thank you. So we're going to correct, amend the minutes to reflect the approval of the September meeting minutes as opposed to the August minutes. Thank you, Tom. Any other corrections other than that? So I'm going to make a motion to approve uh, the minutes of the previous meeting as amended. Uh, uh, I'll second that. Se second. All in favor? Aye. 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 The meeting minutes are approved. Next order of business is to get uh, uh, a legislative and regulation report from our council. Council did mail. Uh, his legislative report, not may help but distribute. Anything in addition to that? Uh, no, does anyone have any questions on the legislative report? Uh, hearing none, just an update on the natural organic reduction uh, proposed regulations. The division and I continue to work through the comments received, and we hope to have a, a proposed assessment of comments uh, soon. Okay. Does the board members have any questions of our council? or legislative or regulation. Okay, thank you. Uh, uh, next is a division report. Uh, Lewis, you're uh, off yeah, somewhere. Pardon, my camera on my computer doesn't seem to be working. I'm not sure what's going on there. Um, but the audio is good, right? Yeah, you're good. Can you hear me? Yeah, so yeah, yeah, you're much louder now, by the way. Um, so, um, the uh, couple things. Number one, staffing update. Late breaking news. We have hired two new senior accountants. Both of them are scheduled to start December 7th. So that means in time for our next meeting, which is very exciting. Uh, we were unable to recruit uh, qualified candidates who are willing to accept in um, our Syracuse office. So we're going to be filling the Syracuse based position in Albany, which shouldn't really affect much of anything. Most most of the territory is accessible from both places. It may, it's not even going to increase the amount of field work. It may increase slightly the number of overnights we have to do, but we uh, space is at a premium in Syracuse and we just haven't been able to find somebody who's willing to accept who's, act, who's qualified. So um, it's good news. I think that means with those two hires, I think that means we will be fully staffed. Uh, number two, we completed our fall round of Cemetery 101 sessions <clears throat> last week in um, uh, Queensbury, and we are working on scheduling a bunch for the spring. If you're interested, if you're a cemetery or not a cemetery, if you have a venue for us and you're interested in hosting one, we're happy to do that. We're also working on a hybrid module, both um, uh, uh, in person in that very room and on uh, and uh, via WebEx on uh, filling out our annual report form, which we're, I don't know if we have the dates finalized yet, but we're looking at, um, we're looking at January and uh, February for that. Um, so that's, that's, and so those, that's sort of our outreach effort. And also, as you know, we do with the uh, we uh, do an annual mailing uh, at the beginning of the year. We are going to be sending. We're working on one already. If anybody out there in uh, cemetery land has uh, anything that they would want us to address in that, please let us know, and uh, we can consider including a topic that is a topic in in our uh, bulletin. And that is all I had. 
Okay. Any uh, questions or comments from us? Again, I am very happy about the uh, success of the Cemetery 101 process. I think it, it proved, uh, you know, helpful to see, appears to be uh, well received by the cemeteries. Uh, lots of people coming, lots of people asking questions. So again, that, that's, if we can be helpful and provide good tech assistance, that's great. I like the idea of providing some additional help on the annual report form. So that's in using our that technology. I, I don't know if we're thinking about the Associations of Towns conference, but that's a different topic, but there might be something we could do. The Association of Towns, they certainly are usually interested in the cemetery issues. So. But again, good outreach, and so thank you to the staff for all your, your work there. Um, any other comments on the division report? Great news about being fully staffed. Um, next to order business is uh, our vandalism applications, but uh, Felicia, you distributed a vandalism report. Yep, um, not much has changed from the prior month. As far as collections go, it's generally very slow. This time of year, we'll pick up from uh, the end of January. Uh, we have approved 23 restoration applications, two vandalism applications, and three abandonment applications so, so far this year. We have three on our agenda for today. Okay. Great. Any questions, uh, Alicia, in terms of the balance of fund? Thank you. Thank you, Richard. Let's jump into the uh, uh, balance of fund. We have a uh, I guess three uh, dangerous monument uh, uh, applications. The first is Riverside Cemetery in Broome County in the amount of $52,026.50 of presentation. Yeah, this is Brendan Stanton with the division. Uh, we have an application from uh, the Riverside Cemetery Association of the town of Windsor, Broome County. Um, the application is for 28 monuments. Um, the cemetery has had a previous round of restoration. Um, and uh, I will note, uh, it, was a, it was a very troublesome uh, project. Uh, they uh, had a lot of trouble with the particular contractor and had stated at the time that uh, they would never do this again, but it's uh, such a good and helpful program that they, they've come around. So that's that's good news. And uh, hopefully this contractor will make them much happier. Um, uh, the, these are older monuments. It's a large cemetery, um, large for the area, not, not large in general necessarily. Um, the oldest one appears to date from 1938 the cemetery association uh, stated that they do not have any address information uh, to contact any lot owners so based on the information provided it's our understanding that the cemetery has determined uh, the monument owners cannot be located um, the both estimates uh, proposed to uh, remove the monuments uh, and replace the foundation foundations with uh, poured concrete to a depth of 42 inches and then have the original monuments reset. Um, it appears to be a good project. I did uh, visit the cemetery a subsequent time uh, about a month ago and all the monuments remained hazardous. Um, so for that reason, I, I recommend approval of this project uh, in the amount of the lower estimate plus the cost of the legal notice, which totals 53000 Twenty-six dollars and fifty cents. Very nice. Mr. Court. Uh, anybody have any questions or comments about this particular application? No questions. No. no? Okay. So I'll make a motion uh, to approve the application of Riverside Cemetery uh, for vandalism funds, there's money for funds, uh, uh, in the amount of fifty-three thousand. $26.50 subject to the availability of funds. Uh, do I have a second? I'll second. Okay. Any additional questions? If not, all in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, application is approved. The uh, 
Next application is North Otto Cemetery in Cattaraugus County in the amount of $12,768.38. Uh, Michael, there... Michael Go ahead. for the division. Uh, the North Otto Cemetery is a small rural cemetery in the town of Otto, Cattaraugus County. They submitted an application for repair of 13 ha hazardous monuments. Uh, Cindy Craig and myself uh, visited the cemetery and confirmed all 13 uh, monuments did appear to pose a hazard. The most recent uh, monument was dated in 1926, and the cemetery stated they did not have lot owner records in this period. They ran a uh, legal notice once a week for three weeks in the Buffalo News uh, for $150 with no response. The division understands that the cemetery has determined that these lot owners cannot be located. The cemetery submitted two repair estimates, the lowest of which was from Western New York Cemetery Service for $12,100 to reset the 13 miles on concrete foundations to a depth of 42 inches and included a 20 year warranty. The cemetery also submitted bills for printing of the application and photos of $18.38 and postage for $1.74. The we decided to uh, disallow the postage and included the rest haven uh, last uh, sorry uh, North Otto's last application for funds was in June 2023 and they received twenty three thousand two hundred ninety two dollars and they are up to date on their bank vandalism payments. I recommend approval in the amount of. $12,768.38 for the repair of 13 monuments, the newspaper ad, and the print. Okay, we'd like to ask Council Weston if they had any comments, but no comments on this one? No. All right. Anybody have any additional questions on this application? No. No. All right. No. I'll make a motion then to approve the application of North Cemetery. Uh, for vandalism funds uh, for uh, dangerous monuments in the amount of $12,768.38 subject to the availability of funds. Do I have a second? I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Uh, our last uh, application for vandalism funds is from Rest Haven Cemetery in Ontario County in the amount of $80,519.44. Uh, can someone please present that to the board, please? Um, Michael Katina again. Uh, the Rest Haven Cemetery is a mid-sized rural cemetery in the town of Belts, which is in Ontario County. They submitted an application for repair of 60 hazardous mines. I visited the cemetery and confirmed that 57 of the mines posed a hazard. Um, the most recent monument was dated in 2019, and the cemetery said do not have lot owner records for this period. They also uh, noted that the two bidders were repair. Uh, neither one was the uh, ones that had the 2019 monument. They ran the required legal notice once a week for three weeks in the Finger Lake Times for a total of $164.44. Uh, they were uh, divisions of the the cemetery has determined that the lot owners cannot be located. The, the cemetery submitted two repair estimates, the lowest of which was from Seneca Memorial for $82,535 to reset the 57 monuments on concrete uh, foundations to a depth of 42 inches, included a 10 year warranty. Rest Haven's uh, last application for funds was in 20,000. 2022, and they received $77,483. They're up to date on vandalism payments, and I recommend approval of the amount of uh, $80,519.44 for repair of the 57 monuments and the newspaper ad. Thank you, Michael. Uh, Council Weston, does the Secretary 101? help cemeteries figure out a way to keep these records because it's one thing when they're you know 1802 but 
2019. I mean, I, I know it's not easy because that is that. It does right? address record keeping. It does address the requirements, yes. I, I, I guess the, we sort of have a workaround here in terms of what's required in terms of uh, notifying. And I wonder if we either think we can fix it or we change the law or something. The, I don't really like having us with, with more recent uh, sure, things understood. say the same thing over and over again. So I guess I just raised that as a task to be addressed. And, and hopefully it's addressed in the seventh grade. I don't know if any other board members have any questions or comments about this application. No. No. Okay. In case I'll make a motion to uh, approve the application of Rest Haven Cemetery in Ontario County for the amount of $80,519.44. Did I ask you if you had any comments? Uh, you did not. I have none other than subject to the availability. Well, subject to the availability of funds. Do we have a second? I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Next on our agenda is uh, some is a uh, additional columbarium for Forest Lawn Cemetery. Um, also, Michael Katina. Uh, the Forest Lawn Cemetery is a large full service cemetery located in the city of Buffalo in Erie County. They have applied for approval to install two 70 meter glass front columbaria in the existing Serenity Mausoleum. The cemetery currently has 4,584 niches with um, only 385 remaining in inventory. The total cost of the project will be $101,057 paid to the general fund of the cemetery. The cost of this project is expected to be recouped in two years, and the total uh, return on investmented, uh, investment is calculated to be $1,000,000. Four hundred twenty thousand six hundred eighty-six dollars over the span of nineteen years. The cemetery posted construction notices and received seven comments regarding this project. Michael Seaman, uh, Seaman, and I uh, visited the site and um, noted that the location of the proposed project is around the corner from six of the commenters, and the seven commenter is does not own. Uh, a niche in that month later. All the uh, comments uh, were centered around obstructing the view um, of the, the current existing win uh, window there. Um, we discussed the location with Chris Converse from the Forest Lawn Cemetery, and he stated that the um, niches are located on blank walls and would not block windows or existing. Uh, we did uh, observe this ourselves, and the window can still be seen out of, uh, it, it is not obstructed. Um, we believe, the division believes that this is a positive project for the cemetery and has recommended approval. Uh, Mark, let me just add that we also asked the cemetery to reach back out to the commenters to um, basically explain what we just said. Um, we, we contacted the cemetery's representative and asked them to do that. We haven't heard anything since then. Obviously, the meeting is publicly posted. Uh, so uh, if there are any, any uh, if, if anyone else wanted to be heard on this, thing, they have an opportunity to. Yeah. So uh, that, that's is there anyone on? Sorry, I have one more thing. Normally, we would. This is something that the, this this type of approval uh, is something that the board has delegated to uh, the division to be able to approve on its own, without uh, bringing it to the board's attention. But because we got um, a few because there were uh, negative comments, we thought it was better to uh, have the, the the issue addressed in a uh, in a public forum, so that if anybody had anything to say. You know, they they publish notice on our website and people have the opportunity to be here. Thank you, Liz. Is there anyone uh, wishing to speak to the public who wishes to speak for the cemetery or the public who wishes to speak to this this uh, application? If there's no public comment, David Fleming representing uh, Forest Lawn. 
I would just uh, reiterate the comments um, that were just submitted in hard copy as well as um, reported to you. The folks who had commented were contacted additionally by the, the, by the cemetery. Um, their location is, as I submitted to the Division of Cemeteries, not anywhere near the proposed site. There are two blank walls with a large window. We also provided a um, diagram as well as a artistic representation of what that looks like. So there is no obstruction. There's no one immediately adjacent. Um, and this is a project similar to several other uh, standalone niches that are in that facility. OK. Uh, any comments or questions from board members on the project? Uh, yeah. Thank you to uh, Forest Lawn for reaching out to the people. I appreciate it. This is a good, I think, good thing to do and have done. Uh, I'll make a motion to approve. Uh, any comments from the council? No comments from the council. Roger's being paid for out of uh, general funds. Sure. Right? Okay, so I'll make a motion to approve the application for Forest Lawn Cemetery for an addition to Colin Barry. Uh, I'll second. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Uh, last on our list, I think, is an application from Greenwood Cemetery for additional town burial. I want to present that to the board. Uh, I do not see Carrie McGovern on the application on here. Uh, so give me a sec, I can do it. Hang on. Let me open this up. So, um, Greenwood says, so apologies, I don't actually have all the facts in my fingertips because I wasn't anticipating presenting this one. Uh, but Greenwood Cemetery is, they're doing some uh, landscaping of an existing area. As part of that, they're essentially s installing a uh, wall that's going to have uh, uh, niches and in in-ground cremation burials. Um, <laughs> um, it's a small number of, it's 60 niches, 80 cremated remains burials. Um, the whole project, the, um, uh, the um, column burying visa, which is only a small part, is gonna be just over 2 million, which sounds like a lot of money unless until you look, realize that the cemetery has over 109 million in its general fund from which this is gonna get paid for. Only the, the columbarium is only about just over 200 grand, 10% of the project. Um, there's all of the work is with the exception of building this wall uh, with the niches in it, all of the work is really in the nature of um, modifying an existing, uh, an existing landscaped area so it's neither a major, the stuff other than the columbarium is neither a major alteration nor um, something that requires uh, an, an environmental assessment form under uh, CICRA. Um, on, on its merits, the, the area is kind of, this used is probably too strong a term, but in need of some rehabilitation. And it's, it's, it's part of the beautification project of an entrance of sort of a side entrance to the cemetery um oh carrie is on but she can't get sound going okay so carrie if you you can hear me correct me if i say anything wrong uh the cemetery is on also so they can do the same um <laughs> again it's all coming out of general fund it seems like a uh, a a good idea to install niches in this area greenwood does have a uh, strong record of selling cremation burial products um so it's good that they're able to add to the mix in, in the context of doing this uh, beautification project on um, uh, it, it, around the side entrance. I don't know if anybody else had any questions or Carrie, if you have anything to add, you can email me and I can say it. You should know the chat. Or, or you can put it uh, in the chat. Council, any comments on uh, I would just uh, highlight, since we did on the other one, that the cemetery did receive uh, two comments. Uh, one was, I think, an architecture student who was just interested in the project and how to get involved in cemetery architectural work. And the other one uh, was an individual questioning whether or not the cemetery could 
sell land to the city to widen the sidewalk and present their responded, no, they can't. Uh, other than that, uh, I concur with division that uh, this would be a, a type two for the purposes of seeker. Uh, the proposed home area is under 4,000 square feet. Um, and as to any major renovation, be, uh, any landscaping, because uh, there's no approval for the cemetery board in that regard, uh, it does not indicate seeker. Okay. So I should, I should add that there is one permit the cemetery has to obtain uh, because this. Um, uh, butts up against um, uh, against uh, a, a subway stop. They have to get approval from the MTA for the project. They have that approval. They have it. Yes. Yes, they already have that. So uh, only one motion. No secret motion, right? No secret motion. No. Only one motion, uh, which is uh, to approve uh, the application. Uh, from Greenwood Cemetery to build additional columbarium uh, space uh, as part of their landscaping uh, project. We paid for our general fund. Uh, there's no need to require that they receive any additional permits, but I'm assuming that uh, the motion would say this, uh, that they should get all necessary Contingent on all getting all necessary permits. Yes, if the guys who have them. Um, before I get the second, is there anybody that wants to speak to this project uh, online or from the cemetery? Usually, okay. I use my judge. It's Rich Moylan from Greenwood. I usually use my Judge Judy line that you're winning. Shut up. But yeah, I did just want to say that this is really primarily a beautification effort. This is an area that we developed in the, the late 80s when I was young and foolish, and it's our second busiest entrance. Now that I'm old and less foolish, we felt we needed to beautify this entrance. And we unfortunately, we left very little space. So we were adding as many niches as we could in an area that we think will be successful, they'll be less expensive than many of our other niches, and they will also be near entrance, which has always proved to be important. Um, I've said enough. Thank you for your consideration. I think that might be of just general interest is that we found that you know in 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 some cemeteries people don't like to be near a fence or near an entrance or what have you, but in an urban setting that's extremely desirable because you have people who walk by the cemetery and they think it's cool that they can actually see their loved ones without even going in. So being, being close is, uh, while it might not be in, uh, up in, in more rural areas, might not be a huge advantage uh, in, uh, in the urban setting it tends to actually be a very strong feature to have. Okay, Rich, I'm Tempted to say we'll be the judge if you're less foolish or not, but uh, thank you for your comments, and uh, I'll look for a second on my motion. I'll second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, uh, thank you. Uh, motion approved, and thank you for for that. Um, uh, our next cemetery board meeting is scheduled for December twelfth. Uh, in this room, uh, 2023, we last of the year. Uh, at this point, in that context, Mark, I should have mentioned in the division report that that's planned to be our division holiday lunch as well. Okay, we'll uh, we'll do that online as well. Um, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll PDF you some uh, some uh, sandwiches. Yeah. Okay, is the, the public comment period? We always uh, welcome public comment on issues that are happening before the board or that could be before the board. Is there anybody who wishes to speak to the public, to the board, uh, the remote side first? Anybody online that would like to address the board? Okay, anybody else would like to address the board? Uh, David Fulming from NISAC, just briefly looking forward to 2024 and 
additional Cemetery 101 classes as well as the regionals for NISAC. So any, in any way that we can partner to make a difference for these smaller cemeteries, NISAC remains ready and willing to do that. So thank you. Thank you and appreciate your very past uh, support. Uh, I'll entertain a motion to uh, adjourn the meeting. I'll second that. Joe, you want to, uh, I'll make the motion in second. All in favor? Aye. Motion carries. Adjourned. Thank you very much.